Ahoy, my friends, Ryder here, and welcome to another Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis video. Today, I'm going into the new event dungeons, and I'm going to be taking on the Abandoned Factory. Um, when I did the Sunsin Cave, I did it with Cloud and Sephiroth and Aerith, um, and I had a really high combat power level, although I still stand by the fact that the strategy will work for basically for almost any player. Uh, but today, I decided I wanted to try something different, and so I want to bring in and try and do this new event dungeon with Barrett and Zack. And actually, I was able to do it. Um, I actually really miss kind of using a lot of these characters. So today, the guide is going to be focused around using Barrett, Zack, and Aerith. Um, obviously, no one in the game has fire elemental weapons. This entire uh, event dungeon is full of enemies that are weak to fire um but it's really not that bad um i thought that these were actually going to be harder um because i was thinking they'd probably drop fire banner weapons i still think that there's a good chance that they will drop fire banner weapons for the new years um but you know i think that this isn't too tough of a one especially for not having any of these weapons but i'm going to show you guys my pathing first and foremost so we're going to start down here I'm going to run up here towards this chest. There's going to be a set of ads right here. We're going to get this first chest right here. Then we're going to run back in here, skip all these fights, come down to this fight right here against the dragon. This is going to be the first fight. After we take down the dragon, we're going to take out the Leverkon, um, which is kind of an annoying one, but we are going to basically blitz them with the limit breaks and summons that we get from the first fight. Then we'll come in here, collect these chests. We'll come back here. We'll take out the Gallon Belor which is going to be pretty chill. After that, we'll have our limit breaks charged up again to easily dispatch these three soldiers. And then last but not least, we're going to come back over here and we're going to take out the scorpion uh, for the finale. Um, you can bring a healing Asuna poison. Uh, you can also bring a healing Asuna fatigue, except we're going to basically with this strategy, we're going to blast these guys down so fast that I don't think you need it. Um, other than that, there's not much to note. Um, so let me get into the actual builds and then we'll get into the battle. All right, so here is Barrett. Uh, Barrett. <laughs> Barrett. He's sitting at 7.8k HP, 2.6k physical attack. These are his R abilities right here, so nothing crazy. Uh, as for his main equips, I am running him the heavy, uh, the scrap armor right here for the attack and the defense. Uh, you could also run, honestly, any of these are going to be fine. Um, I'm running him the Assault Gun in the first slot, which raises physical defense for the entire team. Super helpful, and I really, really, really love that weapon, actually. And then the Heavy Hauser here in the second slot for physical elemental damage. You could also run a Fire uh, Weapon. You could run the Lefko Kipseli for the physical defense, although really I think the Magic Defense will be better to pair. You could also run with the Flame Projector. There's a bunch of different options for Barrett. Um, for his limit break, I'm running him Mind Blow, so I can take the Night Bloom from Aerith and bump it up to high tier. I do have a Fire Breach on him as well. Uh, everyone is going to have some type of Fire Materia in their second slot. So Barrett here has a Fire of Blow, Aerith has Fire Up, Zack has Fire of Blow. Alright, and in the third slot, you're going to be running just X Sigil. Um, so for Barrett, it looks like... Actually, I'm going to switch this over to Physical Attack for him. Um, t -t 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 -t, let's see. All right, I'll take this one right here. And then I think actually for Zach, I'll take. Let's see here. Um, is this triangle? No, oh, this is triangle. Interesting. Oh, that's weird. Oh, he's running triangle right now. All right, so let's see here. Okay, so just trying to find one with good physical attack. Um, yeah, we'll go with this one. All right, so let me just make sure that everyone has X sigil right there. All right, so X, 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 perfect. That's what we need. Um, going back into Barrett, his sub equipments are as shown right here. Uh, it looks like we have the Maritime Sword, the Seaside Collar for HP, and the Amaranth's Claws. Just basically try and get your HP as high as possible and try to keep your physical attack over 2.5k. Alright, so going into Aerith here, I am running her, her Garnet's costume, although you could also use the Chocobo suit or the Rosie Battle suit as well. 
Her stats are 70k power, 7k HP, 2.4k magic attack, and 2k healing. I'm running the Sun Umbrella in the first slot, Fairy Tail in the second, Healing Wind for the Limit Break, uh, Healing Asuna Poison, you're going to want to put at least one of those on your team. Then we have her Fyra right here for the damage, and then her X Sigil Ruinra. For her sub equipments, we have the Lifeguard Wraps, the uh, looks like the Chocobo Rod, Chocobo Staff. And then the crystal gloves her r abilities are over here on the left and last but not least here we have zach 71k power 7k hp 3.2k physical attack um, his r abilities are as shown i am running him his black hound for the hp and physical attack although his uh beach costume would also do all right zach is basically my primary dps in this fight barrett is more of a buffer and support and Aerith can kind of play all the cards. I'm running him OB6, OB6 Black Whiskers in the first slot for the P Def down. Also it gives a really high physical attack along with the Zwilehander in the second slot. Hellfire of course is going to be very important in this fight. I do have a healing Asuna Fatigue right here um, just in case along with a 4 star Fire Blow and a 3 star Ruin Rub Blow. For his sub equipments right here, we have the Murasame, the Aonibi, and the Thousand Waves. Alright guys, well that is going to be the setup going into this fight. I'm going to show you guys that it's really not too bad, so let's get into it. Alright, so starting off, you're going to be at the bottom of these stairs, just run all the way to the top. Alright, and then come over here and we're going to trigger the first set of ads. Alright. You're going to want to take out these ads now as opposed to later. So we are going to target the bombs right here. And I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. And just try and do as much damage as you can to take them down. Alright, here we go. Looking good. I like putting all the Fyras and stuff on the same slot. It makes it so much easier to switch between characters. Um, I see some people in some videos, they move them all around and I don't know how people can go back and forth and, and stay congruent. Alright, so we're going to come over here, grab these two tents. Perfect. Then we are going to proceed into this other room right here and go take out the ice dragon. So you're just going to come in here, you're going to push this over to the side. Perfect. Then we are going to run all the way down here, push this one down. Don't worry about any of the other bosses right now. All right, and we are gonna just charge into this fight right here against this dragon. Get the fire breach up as quickly as possible and night bloom. Um, I'm gonna start by taking out the adds. All right, there goes the first one. Oh, trying to take out this bomb right here. All right, then go in here and break his sigils. Looks like we actually need to get off the heal. But I think we should be fine to take out these sigils right here. I'm going to save all my limit breaks in this fight uh, for the next one. It's going to be very helpful. Going to get off another heal right here. And then just try and do as much damage as you can. He's going to go into another sigil uh, thing here in a second. Just try and kill him before he gets this off if possible. There you go. If not, just defend against it. Um, this is probably, I don't want to say the hardest fight, but um, getting this one, getting through this one without having to use a tent to go into the next one is kind of ideal. But the first time I did clear this for S+, I did use two tents and a Mega Elixir. All right, so here, um, since both of my main DPS are physical attack, I'm just going to take the physical attack 30%, all right? And then we're going to go up here. This is the next fight right here. I just want to make sure, do I have any potions? Barret is low on HP, but I'm not really too worried about it. We have all of our limit breaks up, so we're just going to night bloom the whatever this guy is called in the middle, fire breach him down. Okay, where's the fire breach? And then we're just going to get off all of the limit breaks right here. And this is going to basically annihilate the adds and take down the middle guy super low. 
All right, there we go. Here comes Hellfire. And now we're just gonna blitz this guy down to the end. So just spam your um, fire attacks. I'm not even gonna go for the sigil breaks, honestly. I'm just gonna kill him. That takes out one of the most annoying bosses and we took it out early. So he's not gonna be a problem for the rest of the thing. And honestly, it's all downhill from here. That's probably like the hardest part is just executing that first set of stuff. Um, once you take that down, we're gonna head into this room here to the left. Uh, there's going to be, let's see here, so um, I'm going to take the poison resist here, uh, the magic defense, you are going to get another magic defense plus 50%, but um, but the, the scorpion at the end is, actually, you know what, why don't we experiment a little bit? I'm going to go for the, actually, you know what, I'm still going to go for the poison resist, um, but I think that you could take the fire... Uh, potential up because the scorpion at the end does not start casting his tail laser until later on in the fight unlike some other uh like variations of him where he casts it right off the bat all right so come in here get that mega elixir we're gonna fight these uh little group of ads right here all right here we go all right getting through it and just try to take them down before they do their attack if possible. All right, there you go, there's the set of ads. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the Gallum Valor. Um, if you need to, you can use a tent at this point. I'm not sure I do. Um, I think I will use a tent just before the Gallum Valor. Okay, let's see here. All right, so I'm gonna use my first tent, take everyone back up to full. I do have five fire cocktails, so I'm gonna use um, one of them now, and then one of them on the next fight, and then three on the last fight. All right, so I'm gonna close that up. We're gonna head into the fight against the Gallon Balor. As always, start with changing to the defense stance right at the beginning. Okay, he's gonna hit you with rush. Now, just don't really worry about healing, just immediately break his fire gauge. as much damage as you can with fire. That's gonna stagger him for a second, which will give you a little bit of time to heal up. All right, so now I'm gonna heal with Aerith, get everyone uh, locked and loaded, and then defend for this attack right here. All right, then you're gonna want to heal from that attack and then just immediately go back into doing uh, damage and breaking his sigils right here. And then after this, we're just gonna go full-blown damage as much as we can while healing when we can. All right, here we go. Oof, brutal. All right, there we go. That one's not so bad at all. We fought this guy a hundred times at this point. Although the Gallon Belor that you have to fight for the extra boss in the First Soldier actual story uh, I think it's from chapter four. That one is so hard if you can beat it with Matt, Glenn, and Lucia. I still haven't been able to beat it yet. All right, so that is the Gallon Valor. For here, I'm just going to take the physical attack 15%. We no longer need the fatigue resist because we already took down the Leprechauns. Um, so yeah, we're going to go here, take the physical attack. Then we're gonna go over here to these guys. This is gonna be pretty chill. Just use one fire cocktail on Zack. At the beginning of this fight, I'm just gonna fire breach, night bloom, and hellfire these guys down. It's gonna go so fast. All right, so here we go. All right, so there's the night bloom. Barrett is gonna fire breach, and we are going to hellfire these guys down right here. I probably could have used all the summons because I probably Mega Elixir before the final fight. So you can do that here. Uh, but as you can see, you don't really need it. Oh, wow. I didn't think that those last guys were dead, but apparently they were dead. That was interesting. It looked like they had like a little bit of HP left. 
All right, so we're gonna take down, that's the second to last boss. As you guys can see, this, this event dungeon, these two event dungeons, we're gonna take the magic defense here for sure for the final boss. Uh, these two event dungeons have not been that difficult. I think they've definitely been the easiest ones. Um, and I actually just got my first ever solo crash clear. I have a video dropping of the Hell House solo crash in a few hours. And I think I've found like the ultimate strategy for taking it down. If you do have a pair of edged wings at OB6, the Ao Nibi and the Bald Eagle at base five star, you have a very good chance of taking down the solo crash. Um, so that video will be dropping soon. All right, as for this, I'm gonna Mega Elixir. Okay, um, the summon charge is good for Zach, which is what we want. And then I'm just going to fire cocktail all three characters. All right, guys, so my phone just kind of glitched out here. But yeah, I just used the Mega Elixir and the three fire cocktails. The first thing I'm going to do going into this fight is I'm just going to fire breach the boss. He is immune to the sun umbrella, so don't worry about that. As soon as I get the fire breach off on the boss with Barret, um, I am just going to go into the Mind Blow and the Hellfire on him. That's going to take out the adds and take a significant chunk out of his health. And then after that, we're just going to try and burn him down as fast as possible. All right, so here we go. Here comes the Hellfire. Hopefully it'll take him close to half. A little bit close to half. And then from here, just spam out as much damage as you can possibly do while keeping your uh, characters topped off in HP. You'll see that you burn through him pretty dang fast. All right, here we go. That poison resist is definitely coming in handy uh, because he can poison you periodically here. All right, and I'm not even gonna worry about that. That is going to take down the boss and we are going to clear the dungeon. I'm pretty sure that that is going to guarantee us an S plus clear and hopefully will for you guys as well. Let's see here with a final score. Ooh, Aerith's gonna get level 62. That's nice to see. Um, I'm guessing by the one year anniversary, we're going to get to like level 100 because we've had 15 level ups so far in the first three months. So yeah, I think we should be around there. All right. So there you have it. 881,000 S plus score. Uh, that is the abandoned factory event dungeon on very hard. Um, that being said, I really don't think this one is too bad. I think you guys will have a pretty relatively easy time clearing it. Um, but yeah, I hope this guide has been helpful for you guys. I'm always, uh, eager and happy to hear other, your guys' comments on your own strategies, how you guys were able to clear it. Uh, I think that can also help other people that are looking to put this together that may not have the same things. But, uh, yeah, that being said, thank you guys for watching the video today. Thank you for your support as always. And hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Take care and peace.